As our population ages, we face the great potential of staying healthier for longer. The Adult Changes in Thought, or ACT study, at Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Research Institute and the University of Washington in America is studying older adults and the changes in their health over time. Mary McCarthy was in Washington to see how this living laboratory of ageing works. Seventy-nine-year-old Seattle resident Evie Phillips has come in today for a check of her physical and mental aptitude. Now squeeze my fingers as tight as you can. Evie is a participant in Adult Changes in Thought, or ACT, an extensive ongoing study of the aging brain run by the Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Research Institute and the University of Washington. How's your memory? I would say, okay, I never write down an appointment. ACT is the longest running study of its kind and is believed to be the world's only study that can link outcomes for dementia and aging directly to each participant's whole health history. In addition to the data we collect prospectively, the members of our study have been on average in the healthcare system here for over 30 years. So we have 30 years of their records, which are all computerized the medications they've taken, the illnesses they've had, and so forth. And that allows us to study the factors that lead to dementia. ACT's founder and lead investigator, Dr. Eric Larson, calls the study a living learning laboratory of aging, one that since it began in 1994, has led to key findings about factors that may be linked to a higher risk of dementia, such as higher blood sugar levels. So we had an extraordinary number of glucose measurements that we had available to us to analyze. And what we did was to generate a model of glucose exposure over time, both for people without diabetes and people with an established and treated uh, diabetes, that there was a relationship between higher blood glucose levels and dementia risk. Um, and this is the first time that had really been shown. We take the mission of sharing our data very seriously and talk about not just making data available, but making it meaningful uh, to investigators. The data and findings of the ACT study are leading to a greater understanding of dementia. And as ACT investigator Dr. Dory Rosenberg explains, they're also helping to improve quality of life in aging populations in other ways. So we're just going to have you um, put it on your thigh like that. We have about a thousand older adults that have been wearing both a waist-worn device to measure physical activity and a thigh-worn device that measures sitting time and standing time. The tracking devices worn by many ACT participants create awareness of just how much physical activity they're getting, awareness that can lead to concrete changes in behavior. In our intervention work, we're actually getting older adults to sit less. What we're finding is that older adults who sit less feel more accomplished in their daily life. Staying active both physically and mentally may contribute to what ACT researchers call a resilient brain. Many people get to very old age and have, and have Alzheimer's disease pathology but don't have dementia. They're called resilient people. Dr. C. Dirk Keen leads the University of Washington Neuropathological Lab, where he conducts autopsies of the brains of ACT participants. This work has contributed to the concept of a resilient brain and has also led to other key insights. People rarely just have one thing happening in their brain. There's, there's a mixture of diseases and processes that are happening. And to understand each of these and, it's, and how it contributes to how that, that participant um, was able to think or was able to act is critical to understanding what to target to, to prevent these things from happening and to treat them. The ACT study's access to a long, detailed history of what individuals have been exposed to is allowing researchers to tease apart the effects of environment and genetics when it comes to Alzheimer's and other brain disease, raising hopes that, as we live longer, more of us can delay and prevent the onset of dementia, leading full lives well into our golden years.